Welcome to Rotation Planning with Farm Years. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can set usages for your fields for each farm year so that you can visually plan your rotations and set the total area for your cropping. Once this is set up, you will be able to look backwards and forwards to see what was happening in your fields. Farm years don't have a start and end date, so they can be used in the way that works for your farm. For example, you could align them with your annual harvest or your accounting year. So first I'm going to show you how to plan your rotation on web and then I'll show you on mobile. So this is how you change between year. The first farm map is automatically set to the current year. So to change between year, select the drop down menu at the top of the screen. Each farm year will have a replicate copy of your farm map. Initially, your field uses are blank. Go to the field tab on the side menu and click set uses. Choose the field usage you require and then click select fields. So here on this map, you can select the fields that you have by either clicking on them on the map or selecting them on the list. You can see what was grown in the field last year's under the field name. And then select save. So for here again, the first map is automatically set to the current year. So you change between years and um, using the drop down menu at the top of the screen. So you see everything is blank so far, but we can set up field uses with our multi flow. To set multiple field uses on mobile, go to the fields tab down the bottom and then go to add usage. Choose the field usage you require and then go to select fields. Here you can change the usage by selecting on the list or by choosing on the map. On the list you can view what was grown in the field the year previously written below. On the field list you can view fields in alphabetical order by field type. The total area of each crop is shown next to the field usage to change the view, select the filter button to the right of the field tab. Notes and jobs that you add while you're viewing the current year will be automatically be attached to this year. So when you switch years using the menu at the top, you can see which activity has been set for each year. So now you can change year in the field and see what has been growing. You can also plan your next season's field uses while being able to view what was growing in the field previously. You can plan work for each farm year and easily add tasks to fields by the crops that you have planted. So thank you very much for listening. So we'll be around today if you have any questions or you just want to chat about the app. Um, and if you subscribe during serials, it's a 50% discount for the first four months.